Hello and welcome to your weekly dose of Amazon Ads news and updates. Are you ready to be in the know? My name is Claire Hall and I am a product marketing manager here for our Amazon Ads partners business. Now today we are joined again by the wonderful Jeff Cohen, our tech evangelist, who's going to talk us through a couple of video updates um, that have come out recently. Just in case you missed them, I'm going to do a quick re recap and talk to you about why you should be excited about these. So, Jeff, it's great to have you back. Thank you for coming on. Well, thanks for uh, having me. I always enjoy kind of updating everybody on some of the latest and greatest updates that brands and partners should be using to really help accelerate their business or at least maybe not using, but at least being aware of so that when they're ready to use it, they can. Absolutely. And I know this is a really hot topic. So um, there are three updates that you're going to go through for us today, Jeff. Um, the first one is going to be Prime Video. The second will be Sponsor Brand Video, now having vertical videos. And the third will be Amazon Posts supporting video. So, Jeff, I'll hand it straight over to you. Talk to us about Amazon Prime Video and why should everyone be excited? Yeah. So um, if you're not aware, um, in January, Amazon Prime Video went to an ad supported model. Um, what's really kind of, it, it, you know, it started in the US in um, early February, it rolled out to some of the European um, Prime Video subscribers as well. And what's really interesting about this is that it's, um, it's really opening up the audience that you can start to show video to um, by putting them into some of Amazon's um, hottest video property productions, right? So, you know, I, I'm a big fan of, uh, of The Boys. I'm a big fan of Reacher. Um, I just started watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And now you can have, because of, you know, video being, uh, streaming video being a captive audience, um, you can actually get your, your ads in front of, you know, customers and potential customers customers that, that meet the signals that are driving opportunities for your business. Now, when you think about all of the award-winning content that Amazon has, it includes Prime Video, MGM, um, and it's a large number of you know, viewers who are watching, right? It's estimated at 115 uh, million viewers per month. And this is a great opportunity for you to uh, directly engage with a new audience. And the nice part of uh, streaming video ads is that you can create interactivity in your ads. Uh, so that interactivity, maybe you've seen it recently through some large sporting events with QR codes. Um, the other way that we're seeing it is with the remote. So you're actually able to use the remote for your device if you have like a Fire TV and you can actually interact with that remote and you can learn more about the product. Um, you can also, um, if it's a, a product being sold on Amazon, you can shop for the product. And that's really cool because it's giving the interactivity between the customer who's watching the video and the brand the ability to interact. Um, one other thing that I think is kind of really neat about what's happening with like video advertising and streaming TV and being able to mix all the signals that that, that uh, you know, um, Amazon has is the ability to have interactive creative. And so the, a lot of this was tested with Thursday Night Football over the last year, but that's where a brand can actually buy one particular spot, but show different creative based on the signals of the shoppers that are coming from different areas. Now, I'll be honest, Prime Video isn't for everybody and brands need to understand when Prime Video or streaming TV is right for them and right for, um, for their business. But when it is right for you and you are ready to really grow your business to um, a much larger audience, this is a, a great inventory of products for, for brands to be looking at. And you know, ultimately the question is like, what happens when this when this occurs, right? What's the, the metrics that we're seeing? And because we have the ability to show people within Fire TV and within, um, with, within you know, our devices within Prime Video, we can actually see the uplift that's occurring that's coming back to items such as add to cart or detailed page views. And this is creating a, a pure connectivity um, of what's happening with the advertisement deriving back to the value to the brand. And that's a, a really great new driver for brands to find new audiences engage with them. 
Mm, I, I love this update, Jeff. I'm a huge fan of the Rings of Power. My husband and I are a little bit addicted. <laughs> so you can see, you know, this is a uh, this is an opportunity that that um, we have and and that our partners have that is really unique unique uh, insights and unique reach. So um, it's amazing and great to see this being rolled out. Yeah, and Amazon, you know, Amazon Prime Video was the last of all the the major streaming services to move to the ad supported network. Um, so that is, you know, something that customers are familiar with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you, Jeff. That's all very exciting. Now let's move on to our second update, vertical videos on sponsor brands. Can you show us yeah. what this looks like and why is it exciting as well? Yeah, so this uh, this kind of rolled out slowly over um, over the last month, month and a half. And um, what's great about vertical videos is that we know that shoppers are shopping on their mobile devices. And we also know that brands are creating vertical content for other social media channels. So what's really great about this update is that it's creating this opportunity for you to pull in content that you're using in other channels and bring that into your Amazon um, advertising mix um, without having to recreate or resize the video. And then from the customer perspective, it's able to deliver that in a very mobile friendly um, way because that's where they're learning, that's where they're discovering. So on the left, you can see what the ad looks like. And then um, as you scroll through the page, you can kind of see what it looks like as they start to move into playing the video and how they can still see uh, the products that are being promoted. And so this is a great way to kind of connect um, lifestyle imagery and lifestyle uh, connectivity between your product um, and the way your consumer is going to use your product. Uh, and video is a, a great driver in um, br building brand affinity and building brand uh, connectivity. And that's ultimately what you want to do is you want to uh, find people who are potentially interested and then they want to place themselves into uh, the mind of somebody who's using your brand and they want to see themselves and say, oh, wow, that looks like exactly what I'm looking for. Mm, yeah, uh, I think you couldn't be more right there, Jeff. Um, from my past life, uh, I think the, the videos had such a huge impact, um, you know, so uh, yeah, this is great to see. Sorry, I cut you off there. Carry on. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to show a couple other examples so you can see that you can still run these ads with um, multiple products, right? One, two, or three. So you can still run them in the ways that, that you were used to running them before. Um, and then if you, you know, bring in a horizontal video and it ends up in a vertical type format, you can see on the on the far right here how we shadow box it with uh, with the imagery to make it to, to make it you know image correctly so uh, it's designed as people turn their phones as people are using this on mobile devices or while they're using it on desktop that it's still a positive experience thank you jeff and let's move on to your uh, last update on amazon posts and now supporting video yeah so amazon post a lot of brands have been using posts for a number of years um, posts are a great way to uh, to connect with an audience who's looking to be inspired to find new products. And what's great about Post is they're free. And so um, we've had a lot of our advertisers and our brands asking us to add video to Post. So now that we have uh, the video vertical capability within ads, we now also have added that vertical video capability within Post. And so this is a new way for you to engage with um, the, the, the post audience, bringing in, again, lifestyle type of uh, imagery and lifestyle connectivity to your brand that can, you know, not necessarily, don't think of these as a way of driving sales, because uh, I don't think that that's ultimately what posts are about. Posts are about driving discovery. And so, yes, you can um, have links for people to buy and you can also drive them to your store, but they can also just follow your brand as a brand that they want to connect with and have connectivity with. And then that allows them to see new uh, coupons that you have, new promotions that you're running, and it creates this uh, connectivity between your brand and them. So think about posts and think about video and posts slightly different than how you're using those videos inside sponsored brand video. inside 
post, this is really where you want to think more around discovery. This is maybe where you want to test some creative, right? It's a great opportunity inside post to test creative and see what type of interactivity you're getting with that creative, which then may tell you that you want to use that creative in other places. Now, when you're creating your post video, they're pretty simple and pretty easy. But again, you need to follow the guidelines for the video guidelines. And so our videos within the, within the post are um, vertical videos. And so you want to make sure that you meet the um, requirements for, for you know, pixels and for height and for width. And you also want to make sure there's no shadow boxing, which is like um, where you add like a black... Um, a black shadow around the area that would miss. So we do want true dimensions to give the best viewer experience of the post, but they're really easy to set up, they're free, and um, they're creating this additional connectivity for you to be using. Um, I think one of the things that I'll say before wrapping on, on all three of these, right? So video is definitely like a theme from the last like quarter, a lot of activity around video and what video means. And I think that, um, let's see, I'll come back here and say hi to you guys. Uh, and I think that, you know, what this ultimately means for you and your brand is that like video needs to continue to be important, um, but create that video for your customers and use it in your social media and use it to um, engage with them in different ways and then find ways to amplify that on Amazon, either using um, the, the video post, um, either using the um, sponsor brand video, uh, you know, ads, you know, or even looking to take that video to the next level and, and starting to test streaming TV. Thank you so much, Jeff, for giving us that overview. Um, I really do think now, you know, as you mentioned, the connectivity um, between brands and customers is so vital. Um, you know, you, you want to show what your brand means, show your products in action, um, you know, and I think it, it, the, the, you know, just having these options there for our partners, our advertisers, our customers, I think will make a world of difference and help them make smarter decisions um, and uh, smarter strategies. Um, so thank you for coming on and sharing all those updates with us. Awesome. Can't wait to come back and talk about more great things that we're developing here. So, Yes, us too. Looking forward to having you on again soon, Jeff. Thank you. All right. So that was all we had time for today. Um, please do let us know what you thought of today's discussion. You can like, comment and share below. Um, let us know what you'd like to learn more about. Um, and we will see you next week for In The Know. Let's see this.